Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 9th of July 2023 and with Lorraine who hasn't made an appearance on the channel for a very long time. I'm still here. <laughs> but she is actually here, this is proof. And um, yeah, we're out and about during the course of the weekend, doing a bit of cycling. We're halfway through a cycle ride at the moment actually. Just uh, taking a bit of a breather and thought I'd share a few thoughts. Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I'm all looking neat and trim. Uh, had a haircut. Uh, with this hairstyle, it's so easy. You can do it yourself, but it's a bit of a faff. You've got to lean over the, the bath with a mirror and the clippers. So every now and again, especially when I'm having a bit of a breather from things, it's nice to treat myself at a barber's. So I did that yesterday and i was waiting for a guy uh, to finish before i could get mine done and well when he went to pay the lady uh, it was a lady who was a barber and she brought well she said i think she was going to say uh, card or cash but she got as far as just saying the card bit and saw he had a 20 pound note in his hand and he goes, oh, right, okay. And uh, he, when she sort of said card, he said never. <laughs> and, um, and then she kind of replied to that, oh, something like, oh, so you know, or you're in the know. So it sounds like a couple of awake people there, doesn't it? Or, yeah. or at least awake as far as yeah. the cash thing's concerned anyway. So that was quite good. And then we went into the this little shop didn't we uh, yeah. village shop get a, few bits. get a few bits and pieces and there was this cash sign on the door um, what did it say well I'll put it up anyway so you yeah. can see um, uh, we accept cash or something something like that yeah but and he was very pleased when we paid by cash the guy wasn't he yeah yeah he was actually but uh, uh, yeah those signs I don't know where you get them from if anyone knows leave a comment in the comment section below uh, but it'd be quite good to uh, get a load of those signs made up to give to shopkeepers and it could be embellished a little bit yeah we we proudly accept cash or well, well no we, we just accept cash and then under because we believe in your uh, right to choice and in freedom something like that in smaller print at the bottom maybe and it would kind of, that would almost shame the people who don't take cash, wouldn't it? Because that would imply that anyone who doesn't take cash doesn't believe in freedom of choice and freedom generally, wouldn't it? So that might be a little bit of an idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know uh, what you think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do can... like that idea. I think the more, more people need to start using cash again, I think. And, and cash is, like when you're using a credit or a card, a debit or credit card, you're not necessarily thinking about what the money in your bank but if you if you've got the cash i don't know it makes it all seem real mm. i think cash is the better way to go if you're trying to um be a bit frugal with money yeah they, yeah cash, the use it's, of cash, it's easier isn't it it's easier to manage mm. is what i'm trying to say in a yeah the, the weird way i think the use of cash is on the increase a bit in the last year or so uh, uh in these times of financial difficulty for a lot of people because it is so much easier to budget with to keep it track of, yeah. uh, and to keep track of it you know if you've only got uh whatever 30 pounds to spend for you know the, over the next week you, you know uh you know when you're only down to a fiver don't you and you're not mm. going to spend that unless it's absolutely vital and urgent yeah whereas if it's just going on the card especially a credit card it's easy just to you know um just let it yeah get out let it get that out of hand yeah. is what i'm trying to say yeah. so yeah just a few couple of positive things about cash there um that i've noticed on our when well, we've been out and about but uh uh as far as anything else to do with what we talk about on this channel is concerned uh probably have you got anything to to add to that uh I mean, apart from just uh -huh. it's, it's just nice to get out and about and enjoy yeah, yourself uh, uh, in the countryside. Yeah, it is. Get um, away from it a little bit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the... Um, oh, gosh. Um, like the muzzles. 
I yeah. saw one person on the train today with one, it was a really elderly chap. But did you notice though, it was here? Oh really? It was like a chin strap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people like that around here. Yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, uh, so yeah. I don't know what that's all about. Why? Why? Why, why bother at all anymore? You know, why, why bother? But do you remember, like a couple of years ago, when we went out and about, and we were in the minority? Literally, the only one. Either literally the only ones without the things on, or yeah, like you say, in the vastly in the minority. Yeah. Whereas hardly anyone wears them now. No, so oh. that's good that it's becoming a thing of the past, really. Yeah, yeah. So, so it stays in the past. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that was getting off track a bit from the cash thing. So. No, no, that's... Rambly. Uh, just anything that comes into uh, your head, really, and, yeah. and my head, you know, just, just talk about... Um, you know, I've just noticed something here. I'll just get a shot of it and overlay it. It's just... We're just sort of sitting in a churchyard, actually, having a bit of a rest. But, yeah, looking at that... Um, yeah, these poppies here. It just kind of shows you what on earth would have people thought who died in the wars you, you know at uh, <laughs> our loss of freedom and how easily we gave freedom away because yeah. we we're just sort of uh, uh, just a little bit everybody was just frightened of a little bit of a <coughs> as uh, as Lee would do <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, you know it's just you know when you think what they faced um, I know and when you think how young how that young they were yeah. as well when they went off and nowadays teenagers can't decide what gender they are no <laughs> mad no, mad it, it absolutely is i guess though because crazy. a lot of young people don't have anything else to occupy their minds do they so they just start yeah. on bambling on yeah we'll just say it yeah well we've all anyone under the age of probably 70 these days has just had it easy all our lives always lived yeah. in centrally heated ha houses and um always had plenty of foods never really gone hungry um that's what the luckily the vast majority of people have experienced i know there's some who are poor and have to watch you know have to skip meals but the vast majority of us have been lucky in that yeah. regard and when you're not worrying about the basics you start worrying about all sorts of other superfluous others. stuff yeah yeah i think that's really part of the problem whereas i think 100 years ago mm. um yeah if there's a bit of flu knocking around um people would have just sort of well it's just the flu you know i know um, yeah. i know that i know that spanish flu thing was just over 100 years ago yeah but, I mean, we make a big thing of it, but did they make a big thing of it um, sort of back then? I'm, it's difficult to know, isn't it? Well, I don't re remember my sort of grand and granddad ever talking about it, even though they would have been around in those days. Yeah. I think my grand would have been about 10 when that was around. And I, don't, and I know she talked about a lot of stuff to do with the wars and all sorts of other things. Uh, she never, I don't re remember her talking about that. No. So whether it was just a thing. It's part of life. Yeah, it, it probably wasn't nearly the thing that they're making it out to be in modern times, maybe. Uh, I don't know, if, if you knew any older people who are, would have been around in those days, do you remember them talking about the Spanish flu or uh, or not? So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see that in yeah. the comments, actually. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose we'd better uh, leave it and jump back on the bikes and... Before we seize up. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but otherwise I'm going to seize up here. Yeah, it won't be the, we're sitting on the ground. It won't even get <laughs> we'll never up. get up, yeah. Nah, so, we'll yeah. be here in three hours' time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, anyway, we'll sort of... Uh, we'll leave it there and be back very soon. Tim and Lorraine from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.